Another windy day in Scotland. As always, Howie Nicholsby, a second generation kilt maker, cycles to work in the traditional Scottish men's garment. He enjoys the 30 kilometer coastal ride near the Firth of Forth estuary, just north of Edinburgh. I feel Scottish first. You are who you are from where you're born and the society that is around you and Scottish society is different from English, Welsh and Irish society. We have our own culture, music, language, art, history. That's what makes a culture. Howie's father taught him how to make kilts decades ago. These days, Howie designs and sells the traditional Scottish clothing items around the world. The EU is a key market for him. Seven and a half meters of fabric are needed to make a single kilt. So that's how much material is in a man's kilt. Howie voted in favor of Scottish independence in the 2014 referendum. He does still believe Scotland should be an autonomous country, but Brexit and the pandemic have given him doubts. He thinks independence could be risky, dividing society and even his family. It is becoming sensitive again. And the disharmony that created within a family unit so that spread right across the whole of Scotland and into England. We head to the capital and seat of the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh to see what people think about independence. Many here tell us they'd be happy to leave Britain. We have assets, uh, great assets, and I think throughout this as well, interestingly, especially in Edinburgh being the capital, there's been um, a real community feel, um, great entrepreneurship, um, so I, I think that that will be to the benefit um, of, of our country. Well, I think Scotland is a lot more liberal as a country rather than England, and those choices um, uh, we can uh, make, on our, make on our own, really, and not have to um, go down to Westminster for approval, which I don't think we get. Others, meanwhile, feel that after the Brexit turmoil, Scotland needs to let the dust settle. I think we should stay in the Union. Um, I think that... Brexit, I didn't want Brexit, and that has been, um, you know, an absolute nightmare. So why would you want to break up a union that's, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years? I think it would cost a lot of money. I think it would be terrible for the economy, and I don't think Scotland can afford to be independent. We have a devolved parliament. They have taxation powers. They have quite a lot of power. So I don't see what else they want. Many Scots living near the Anglo-Scottish border, some 100 kilometres south of Edinburgh, oppose the idea of independence. John Elliott's cattle farm overlooks the Cheviot Hills that straddle the border. Many people here work and shop over in England. We're aware that, um, that if there was any trade barriers, it would be very difficult in this area because uh, at the moment, uh, a lot of the, the, the communities are integrated between England and Scotland in this area, and I think that uh, uh, would be a, a shame if there was any sort of barrier between, uh, between the two. John Elliott runs the farm together with his father. They sell Aberdeen Angus cattle for breeding to the EU and elsewhere. So international trade is important, but to them, keeping Scotland and Britain is even more important. I personally voted in the EU referendum to, to remain within Europe, but I think if I was asked the question now, would I want to go through it all again and, and uh, to try and achieve to get back into Europe, I think my answer would be no. I, I think, I'm, I think the, the union at the moment seems to be doing okay. Uh, we've had a lot of the pain and, and got through it. Kilt maker Howie Nicholsby has thought long and hard about the possible economic consequences of Scottish independence. And he thinks independence will have to wait for now. I only want an independent Scotland if it's good for Scotland and the Scottish people. And it feels too much that it's politicians and politics and party rivalry, as opposed to thinking on a business level and strategy and plan of how it's actually going to work. The drive for independence will continue to impact Scots like Howie Nicholsby and his family. And Brexit has only served to stoke the fire. <laughs>